So this is to make pea soup. And how uh, a simple soup can be made by steaming or pressure cooking. Uh, so I've got uh, 60 ml of water in there, quarter cup of water. And over this I'm just adding some frozen peas. Along with it, uh, the one which is uh, most flavorful to add with peas is uh, some mint leaves. So along with the mint leaves, I'm also adding, um, you can add coriander, but because I haven't got coriander, the closest in taste to it is um, parsley. So I'm adding some parsley to it. The parsley stalks are the coriander stalks or real flavor bombs and they are best used in recipes like this. And just to increase the flavor of the soup, I'm also adding some garlic to it. Um, and the only thing left to add now is a teaspoon of a teaspoon and a half of salt. You don't need much water because of the frozen peas, they will release water as they have warmed up. And uh, I'm just adding some vegetable stock. And you can add any stock of your choice. So I've got uh, some stock made up from a previous roast. So you can add a little bit of the liquid stock. And any fat of your choice. I've uh, added some fat here. You can add oil or ghee or uh, any animal fat of your choice. So that's going to cook for about six to seven minutes and then we can Put it into a blender along with uh, any dairy either yogurt or milk or cream however thick you want the soup to be so we'll get going with this this has now had a cooking time of six minutes and uh, rest it for 10 minutes for the pressure to settle along with the herbs you could even use lesser water um, you can see it's all from the condensation after the cooked so we are going to blend it now I'm going to blend it with some skimmed milk but you can I've just added a tiny bit of milk in the blender I'm using the Nutribullet here you can use any soup uh, liquidizer or if you put it into the soup maker without uh, the pressure cooker it, that'll do the whole job for you so I'm just going to empty it all in there and blend it that's the blended pea soup you can add salt and pepper to your taste that's it easy one give it a try <laughs>